Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa 2, The Squeakwell. I've been waiting to use that one for a while. So, uh, it's breakfast! We played the arcade game last night. It was cool, I plugged in my fight stick and it didn't improve anything, but hey, it made the feeling more, uh, authentic. What's up, Mikan? Hi, Mikan! Ah, oh, good morning! It's such a nice day! I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh, waste? Ah! It's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. So, I'll excuse myself first. Waste what? Something going on? What to heck is going on? What's up? Oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. You're tall. What are you groaning about? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I'm worried about a more sublime, more serious matter. And that matter is... Ibuki's music genre from now on. Music genre? I escaped the pop sounds of the girl band genre. Something about completely changing my musical styles. I totally scripted that sentence. Shut up. Ah, I see. <laughs> but there's nothing that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Meow. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. But is it something you can really decide on a whim? Well, as long as it's not country, we're good. God, I don't like country music. Okay, what's up? What's up, Hiyoko? Good morning, Hiyoko. Doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing the same game over and over? She's not going to reply to my greeting, is she? I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo, uh, except Mahiru. Jeez. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm going to become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. Good morning, Chiaki. Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Oh, it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. Yeah, I just finished playing game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was just wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagito? I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? Um... I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Let's head up the stairs. What awaits us in our morning meeting? Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate. Sat myself at the table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're the one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of me. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like. You should just eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you. Is this. Mahiru missing? Hmm? After Gunham said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. She's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um. I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a chance that she's... What the... A small chance that she's what? Oh, I saw Mahiru... She was outside a hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez. Jeez, don't say such a spooky thing. Let's go. That's punishment. How about you run around a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? <sighs> I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey. But uh, what was Mahira doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone? Um, M maybe... She's planning to play that game. One of the characters did mention a camera. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahira would play video games. It's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Huh? Oh, were you referring to me? <laughs> <laughs> I am pig barf, aren't I? It looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. Well, I was lost in thought. Someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime. Got a second? What is it? Kazuichi leaned forward from his seat, glancing around quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. 
today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket, but don't tell anybody else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean it's bad? You hey, what are you lonely creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... They're nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you, fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Oh, All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. Oh, look at the cuties. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so you'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? <laughs> I'll see you later. Whoa, what was that about? Hmm. Said Taimo Games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. The day's breakfast came to an end. Okay, so obviously no free time right now. Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30 p.m. What do you mean when you told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Oh, no, we do have free time. Cool. Yay, yay, yay. So, we uh, should hang out once more with our girl, Ibuki. Well, first off, let's check out any more rooms that, are, that have people in them. We have Akane's room and Chiaki's room. Okay, so let's head to those two. First off, we have... That's Mikan. Uh, that's Chiaki. Yeah, we'll check out Chiaki's room. Who is it? Okay, let's head on in. What do you have here? What sort of gamer's paradise do we have? Okay, so we got... Uh, what is that? Is that PS2? That's a Dreamcast. That's very clearly an NES. And that one... No, that's... That's a Genesis. You can see by the controller, this is a, a Saturn. That's a Saturn. I don't know what this one's supposed to be. It looks like a PS1, PS2 hybrid. It's an arcade game. It's an arcade machine. And what is this? Poster. Huh. Is this a new game that just came out? Wow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret playing this, but that's what makes it so fun. That is literally Ultra Despair Girls. Huh. Interesting. 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 Is that new? Was that there in the first one? I don't know. Please tell me. Okay, now we're gonna head to Akane's. She was on the other side. Yoko. Peko. Or was I super wrong? I was super, super, super wrong. I'd make... I, I make being wrong into an art form. What's in Akane's cottage? Huh, who is it? Watch her be naked because she just doesn't care. Okay, there's a Tanuki. There's hay bales. There's just... Damn, bitch, you live like this? Oh, gross. Well, okay, let's look for Ibuki. Because we do want to finish up her side quest. So where's my girl at? Let's see here. Oh, I can't leave right now? Oh, yeah, I can. She is where? Wait, where is she? Where is she? She's just like gone? What the heck? Huh. Where is everyone? They're just all of a sudden not here. Well, shout out to the ancient ruin literally using the picture. Hmm. Wow. No, she's like, she's gone. Gundam's at the ranch. Nakamura's there. I guess we're gonna hang with Chiaki then. Because she's the only one here that I'm continuing the, uh, the, 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 the thread for right now. So, okay. What's up, Chiaki? Sorry to come in again. But, hi. What's up? What's up, girl? I don't want to spend that much energy today. 
I think. I'd rather just sit still and read a book or something. Well, I have a book for you. Hey, hey. You want to read too? Let's go to the library together. Spent time today reading with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her... I have the perfect present. It's Tips and Tips Volume 2. Where is it? Tips and Tips 2nd Edition. <gasps> Hajime, you seem to be holding something pretty nice. Thanks. Thank you. No one has ever given me such an awesome present before. Huh. Every single time. Can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai head. Statue of Liberty. Ah, don't shoot the beam there. Okay, I don't know what she's referring to. This is bad. Zombie nation eating up humans. Is she dreaming about a game? I have no idea what game she's talking about. Ah, sorry. Uh, sorry, I think I'm sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dream 2K? Real talk? I do that. Yeah, it was fun because it was a shooting game. I see, so you like those kinds of games. Yep. I'm pretty all-inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like turn-based ones too. Hey, hey. So where do you want to go today? Oh, how about the ranch today? I don't really like animals that much. Just say it's Harvest Moon. Huh, really? Mm. They're warm when you touch them, you know. That's a little scary. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. I agree with you because horses are evil. Well? I'm better at games that use precise calculations where success and failure is decided by numerical values. Oh, you mean not the RN Jesus? But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things that Shiaki will hate, but it feels lonely just leave her like this. How about we look at the animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are pretty tame. You can even touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think. If you teach me lots of things, it'll probably be okay, I think. Is she relying on me? If so, that makes me happy. Reminds me a bit of Futaba in uh, Persona 5. Jack and I decide to walk to the ranch. Mm. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's going to dance like the one in Dancing Eyes. That might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. Touch the cow. Do it now. Jackie watched up the cow and cautiously pet its back. The cow seemed not to mind and continued silently eating grass. <laughs> wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. Mm. I see, you're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much, so that might make it easier for me. If you want to touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think I'm better off not doing anything unnecessary. Like, it's better if I stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Jackie's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. Hope one day I can touch not just cows, but people too. What? Ah, uh, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh, fresh milk must be really tasty. Hey, hey. Milk this cow? Huh? Um, you know that milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? As much as you want? <laughs> but if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? What? And it dances, right? I knew it! It's definitely Dancing Eyes! Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? Is Dancing Eyes a real game? I don't have my phone with me, it's charging. Is that a thing? Explain how milk works in to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, Chiaki's full of mysteries. Her data's been updated. Chiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much, so I, after sending off, I returned to my room. Probably no evening event. Or at least for now, maybe it'll be after. We'll see. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. Oh, what's he thinking of all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but he, if he's plotting to... Nah, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. <gasps> Scary music. Okay. He's... Huh? It's well past the arranged time. There's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! Yo! Ah! Whoa! Hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forget he's that kind of guy. Okay, don't be that type of guy. Although I feel like I'm pretty bad for this, but honestly, if I'm told to be somewhere at 2 o'clock, 
I will probably be there like 120 at the at the latest maybe one o'clock I'm I'm perpetually early a guy doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come that kind of guy well it sort of makes sense so what do you want why don't you call me out here like this hey well you know can you uh do me a little favor a little favor uh. I just overheard something apparently it was Sonia's idea for a change of pace ah International Women's Day. I get ya. Looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around the beach. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you! As expected of Miss Sonya, splashing around the beach in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much as shocking. My heart trembles around her so much as about to burn. So let's crash together. Why me? Well, it's weird to fake coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I head to the beach, and then we run into the girls by... Coincidence. Huh? Hey, you better not say no. Can't ask any other guys to help me with this. Man. Nakamura can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is, well, Gundam. Fi, Hiko, and Nagato are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, hey I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know? And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're snapping at me? You say no, I'm gonna bug it about it till you die. There's no he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi after all. Uh, if I have no choice, then fine. <laughs> Yahoo! That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. So what do I have to do? Well, well, based on what I overheard, looks like we're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to the diner first. Our plan, our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. We're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it, so I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm all excited now! Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. Actually, I should probably buy the thing I need for now. Okay, so the next item I was told to get was the camera, I'm pretty sure. Because I have the sword. I don't have an, an, an. I have two nuts. I have four W... Four... RC four wheel battler taro. I'm gonna pick up the toy camera. So that is something that I was told to get for, 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 for coming up, so. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna need it now, but I should probably get going. Yep. Let's head to the diner. Let's diggity diggity dine in at the diner. Actually, how's, how's, my, how's my petto doing? I gave it some more stuff off screen. Flush it. See, it's it's getting good. We only need 338 steps to have it evolve. We might get there by the end of this chapter. Because we have to do all the exploration after, so. Alright, let's head on over to the second island. Slowly. Surely. We'll make it. As I press the X button. Gundam's there. I just should talk to him, because if it's not if it's not free time now, he's probably gonna be like actually say something important. Or, well, it's Gundam. Maybe not something important, but. I already told you. All I want is silence and indifference. I see. Huh? Hey, Hajime, it's all good, so let's hurry up and go. You look so lonely. If you want to hang out, just say so. That's really sad. Just one man and his four hamsters. All right. And second island. Oh, click. Now to the diner. What's up, man? For it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. Oh, That's why we gotta head over to that diner. Okay, yep. We heard that. Let's take the long way. Because then we can get more running points. That ancient ruin sure looks suspicious. Sure hope it doesn't become a thing in the future. Uh, that's the pharmacy. And the diner. Alright. We're at the diner. Is there any Monokumas here now, perhaps? Any new ones? Any secret Monokumas? No? Okay. Let's head into the diner. Open the door. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? I mean, do we just talk to him? And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming after the little sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m. It's 3 p.m. right now, so we have to wait one more hour. <laughs> Always make you move early. That's the basics, you know. Uh, that's just the basics. Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It's bad if you don't catch Miss Sonya on her way to the beach, you know. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, I gotta pass in front of the diner. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is this? I should really have just said no. Sitting at the table by the window, I rested my chin on my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Oh. Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, then 30. As time passed, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. <gasps> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonya will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of the bikini? <laughs> Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. At the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh, isn't that? I wonder what happened. I guess we should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where the person was standing. Who could it be? It's Fuyuhiko. What? You, you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuyuhiko. What are you doing here? That's up. my line! Hey, hey. What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Who are you calling flustered? Don't go make f making false accusations, you bastard! Huh? Don't tell me. Oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan followed us all the way here, right? Hello. Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my mom. That's a strange combo. <laughs> uh, hello. Today is another wonderful day. Uh, well, you you're not going to get away now that I've caught you. Wow, I got so nervous that I blurted up something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll tell you the punishment as you like. Ah, uh, you too. This is such a uh, coincidence. I never expect coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Well. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh, How could it be that you ladies uh, would that be what you ladies are here for? That's quite a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like a salmon before they lay eggs. No way, hub! I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sat and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. How weird for you he could go? Well, well regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3:30 p.m. You have still about 30 minutes to meet. Oh my God, you fool! Um. Why, why do you know when we were going to meet with the others? Why, yeah. And how do you even know our damn meeting time? Hmm. Well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's share the coincidence and brought us together. So it's good for joining too. Wow, we got all first of all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well, I really have no desire to do something no, so rude like decline the offer at all. But... So Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so you need to ask her. Of course. That's all good. It's too devastating thing Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off for Yuhiko. Oh well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Let's talk to people. <laughs> I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. Ibuki? <laughs> An army marches on its stomachs while swimmers can only splash around on their stomachs too. I'm gonna eat a I'm gonna heartily eat a hamburger with a side of rice. That sounds like a good combo. Is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? Yo, that's a good combo, I'd have that. <laughs> Alright, let's wait inside until Miss Sonya arrives. Okay. 
Let's go inside to the diner. I returned to the diner and sat myself at a table near the window again. Pew! Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what do you guys didn't do about your swimsuits? You weren't allowed to change the beach house, you know. Um, yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing my swimsuit, too. Huh, really? Uh... Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? You gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. So here you go, this is yours. Oh my god. What is this thing? Um, it might be rude to say this, but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing lives, you're gonna get totally censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry. Even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. Oh, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking. Things are heating up something fierce. When's ever going to come? I hope they come soon. As soon as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. Huh. What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Hey. Isn't that Hyoko? Yeah, what's she doing? She's Please, crying? Don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite our questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she a part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... Did she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry. sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it seems it just means women are full of surprises. Mira's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. You hear what she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her to not join an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. But it can't be helped. Apparently, she really wasn't feeling well. Um, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hyoko crying? Why are you asking us? If she was sprinting past the beach from crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. Hey. Whoa! When did you get here all of a sudden? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turn around... Oh, she's so cute! My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm, should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. <sighs> But how should I say this? Is this what Gap Moe is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. What happened? J jugs? Oh, she has a sprite. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say that just now, it was Hajime. He's the pervert, you know. What are you saying? Oh. I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonya. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it, do I? Oh, you do! Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. And I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically like ba-dump, thump, thump, ba-dump. It's probably a heart attack. Yeah. Hey, I kept you waiting. We heard a voice at the diner door s s uh, slowly open, and the person who walked through it was... 
Oh my! Waha! Uh, hey! Hey! Sorry. To keep you guys waiting. Oh yeah. Uh. Dad! Akane! What happened to you? Yeah. What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that. Your wounds. It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Ah, uh, that's a reference to something kids probably don't get. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru, and when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! <laughs> I'm all fired up now! I never knew such a strong opponent even existed! Anyway, you need to be treated, and also your wounds need sterile. You need your, your room sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey, what is all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? I like how we get ones for each of them. Dang, girl. Hmm? Ajiman Kazuichi. Why are you two here? I like the fact she's still wearing her glasses. That's a plus. Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Huh, what? Awesome! A woman with wet, slicked back hair is pretty fine too, huh? And this body, too! Man! Yeah, she's toned. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone! So that's why my thumbnail looks like that. Don't say so. <laughs> anyway, looks like everyone's almost here. It's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is. I am terribly sorry for my delay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Miss Sonya's here! He's doubled down on excitement? Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? Still pretty cute. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is my bad. Oh my! I see, a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia. But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy is quick to recover. Um, um, anyway, why are you two here? Uh, I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest, if you're going to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, that was originally supposed to be a girl's only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do you think you can make an exception, pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problem, even if there are some boys. Then... You're right, they came all this way. It would be bad if we made them leave. Oh, Miss Sonya is just so kind. All right. All right, now it's decided. Let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol, prepare the drinks. Engines ready. I mean it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve you, serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. 
I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. Let's head out, because why not just stay there? That'd be the smart thing. Okay, head on to the beach, through the tunnel. I'm sorry. Is this gonna say a body's been discovered? Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body oh my god! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Who's it gonna be? What? This came out of super nowhere! A body? That's a lie! Impossible! Someone... Someone come here! Yeah, that was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Uh, he's not over here. Where could he be? Wait, what, is that a camera? Oh, it's a surveillance camera. Kazuichi screamed, did I hear it come from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. Who is it going to be? A body discovery announcement. I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Who is it? Thought so. That's who I thought it would be. If this was all a dream, when did I... when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me, and I couldn't believe in anything. Okay. Chapter 2 is on to the deadly life section. Sin and, <laughs> sin and punishment, sin and coconuts. Mihiro Koizumi, the ultimate photo- Okay, we're gonna start, uh, from this point next time, guys. So we'll see you then. Ciao. You can